Wow, Rob here just heard the Philip Phillips version, home, the studio version. Absolutely incredible, man. If you loved it, hit the like button, give me a comment. And if you believe Philip deserved to be the winner and you voted for him and you believe he's going to go on to have a great career in the music business, hit the like button, give me a comment. Now, some of you may not know this, he actually went and undergone surgery during American Idol for kidney stones. I mean, multiple surgeries. I don't know if they were major surgery, but man, you got to hand it to the kid, man. He, he, he just ran it home like a trooper. And, you know, getting back to this song, Home, man, who here under the sound of my voice does not want to make heaven their home when you take your last breath? Now, how do I get from Phil Phillips' American Idol to making heaven your home? Well, I'm a minister of the gospel, friends. If you want to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, hit the subscribe button right now. Also under the search, Rob Wood 1, R-O-B-B Wood, the number one. I've got many other Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. But getting back to this song, Home, you know, the reality, friends, you got to agree with me one thing is we're all going to take our last breath one day. Death's the inevitable. And how long is eternity? It's without end. Is it a billion years? Is it a billion times a billion years? It's without measure, my friends. And we're all going to live forever. We're spiritually created beings. You will never die. I will never die. So when you take your last breath, either the elevator goes up to life insurance, that's home, or down to the basement where there's fire insurance. And, you know, Christ comes by invitation and invitation only. I'll never blow and knock the door down in your heart. He's not going to make you serve him. He certainly didn't create you to be a robot. He gave you a free will. So you can reject Christ through disobedience and keep the door closed in your heart. Or you can open the door and accept him. And he desires to be in the center of your life. Now, it's no plan. It's no secret by now. God has a major plan. And he's giving gifts and talents to Philip Phillips the same way he's giving gifts and talents. And he's got a plan for your life. In fact, in the book of Jeremiah... 29 chapter 11 verse says, God has a plan for you, plans for a hope or hope in a future, plans for an expected end. And the first plan God has for you that he, he desires to be in the center of your life and everything else needs to revolve around him, such as relationships, your vocation, uh, your purpose on the earth. But friends, again, Christ comes by invitation only. If you want to say this simple prayer with me, bow your heart. It's not necessarily in the prayer, it's the faith behind it because faith moves God's hand. Say this prayer, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Again, friends, if you prayed that prayer and you meant it, heaven's applauding, angels are throwing a party, you'll make heaven your home when you take your last breath because you can't earn salvation, you can't be good enough. We're all born separated from God due to original sin. Hey, if you enjoyed the uh, you know studio version of Home by Philip Phillips. Hit the like button. Give me a comments if you voted for him and you believe he deserved to be the winner. 2012 American Idol season. Also hit the like button. Give me a comments again if you want to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Hit the subscribe button if you want to check out many of the Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos. One which I really enjoy doing entitled "Loves the Language of Heaven." I'll leave you with this scripture, friends. The Book of John, third chapter, sixteenth verse. For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that he gave his only son. Friends, if you would believe in Jesus, you wouldn't perish, you'd have everlasting life. Be blessed.